Hi everyone, it's your girl Shar from Lux Travel. I'm here today to give you a quick update on the world of travel. So, some of you may have heard that the CDC made an announcement that effective January 26th, any international flights into the United States, you will have to get a COVID-19 test done three days prior to your flight. And that includes U.S. citizens. So, if you're a U.S. citizen, you go to Cancun, and you know, before coming back, three days prior to your flight, you need to get a uh, COVID-19 test done. It needs, to, you, it needs to be a negative result. You need to show proof of that to the airline um, before you'll be able to board your flight. The only other documentation that they're willing to take is documentation that you've recovered from COVID-19. That's the only other documentation that they're willing to take in order for you to board your flight to come back to the United States. The one other thing that I also wanted to talk to you guys about is making sure before you travel is also look at some of the other states, the state that you're coming from. Because when you come back from, you know, traveling, um, some states have guidelines in regards to um, what you have to follow, what you have to do whenever you come back from a, another country. So it's not just the CDC guidelines, there's also state guidelines as well. So I wanted you guys to be informed about that as well. So before you leave, before you book any flights, just make sure you understand that, you know, this is a new CDC guideline. It's a federal guideline that, you know, you have to have, you know, this COVID-19 test done, you know, three days prior to your flight before you come back to the United States. And also look into your state, the state that you're from, because they may have guidelines as well as far as, you know, what you have to do when you come back from an international flight. So those, that is one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, you know, the new CDC guideline. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is uh, Royal Caribbean. Um, they also made an announcement as well. Um, they have decided to spend um, their cruise um, until April the 30th, 2021. I think right now when it comes to travel, I, I recommend everyone that if you're going to be traveling internationally um, is to really go through a travel agent um, so they can you know guide you on some of these guidelines whether it's the CDC guideline or if it's the state guideline so you're you know following the rules and regulations because you don't want to get hit with the fine I know with some of the states especially the state where I'm from if you don't follow the state guideline coming back from an international flight um, you know it's up to like a two thousand dollar fine so I just want everyone to be cautious of that. I want to give you this quick update. And, I, you know, it's 2021 we, that we're all itching to travel. And I wanted to say, you know, let's travel safe. Let's be smart. Let's social distance. You know, it's still a pandemic. It's still, we, there's still COVID-19. So I want to say safe travel to everyone. Until next time, um, God bless.